Good evening. So I'm here with Jordan and Mary tonight, and we uh, wanted to uh, give an update on what we have found with Joe, the Gooch Gap, um, the Gooch Gap shelter guy that's scaring the hikers. Uh, he's in far out or got hooks, and he's under the Gooch Gap shelter comment section. Um, he's been scaring people for a minute now, and so we actually had a face-to-face -face encounter with him today. Mary picked him up, Jordan talked to him, and so we're just gonna touch base on what we thought of Joe, the scary dude, the scary, scary Gooch Gap shelter dude. All right, uh, so what, what was your opinion of him? My opinion of Joe is that he's an older man. He's probably mid to late 60s. I feel that he is out here drifting up the trail. He is knowledgeable about the trail. He's been out here since June. He told me he came into Atlanta in June and you know, he's made his way through the towns. He, he likes it here, he likes Blairsville, he likes Suchess. He says the people are very kind and shown him great kindness since he's been out here. Um, he's very well spoken and educated, I believe, and he has definitely immersed himself into our local culture and history around here. He knew quite a bit about the things that go on around here and um, the history of the place and the trail. So I think that he is drifting up the trail. He definitely has the funds for it. I don't feel threatened by him. And that's not saying that he couldn't become, you know, threatening. I mean, anybody in life could, but I personally had an okay feeling about him. Um, you know, that being said, he's not asking for handouts. He's not, I mean, he's able to pay his way. Um, I think he's just out here like the rest of us searching and he's never been here before. He did tell me that. So he's learning about our area and just, just making his way up the trail the way each one of us do. He's hiking his own hike. Yep. Sweet. And what did you think, Jordan? Uh, he's very respectable and he seemed really happy to be there. And as you said, he read about it in the guidebook and um, like he, need, he needs to buy a few pieces of gear from the mountain crossings tomorrow. and. I think it's just, you know, just making his way up, just trying to see all the towns and the areas and the trail and, um, yeah. Okay. All right, sweet. So the, that is two, uh, Jordan and Mary just ran into him tonight. I spoke to him on the phone. He was well-spoken. Um, I think that always keep your guard up. Don't put it down. Uh, he could definitely probably maybe change. We don't know who he is. Uh, we're not telling anyone to, you know, say he, we're not saying he, he's all good. We're just telling you what we encountered uh, when we, when we uh, met up with him. Uh, what do you think about the radio and the I think being an older man that's probably mid to late 60s, I believe he is, mm -hmm. you know, he could be hard of hearing. Yes. Um, I think he does not understand because this is his first time out here on the trail. I don't know if he's done other hiking before. He may not understand Hiker Midnight and that people go to sleep as soon as it's dark. You know, we go to sleep before 10 p.m., you know, probably 9 o'clock. So, you know, at 10 p.m. when this person had told me they asked him to turn down the radio, you know, he was a little bit confrontational about it. Like, almost like, why do I going to turn off my radio or turn it down or something? You know, it's not late or whatever. And you know, he did clatter about and make a bit noise at night and in the morning. Mm -hmm. But I think he doesn't understand the culture of the trail and sure. the hike of midnight and the getting up and, you know, maybe the group sleeping in shelters and stuff like that. I think he probably is just not educated on that and, um, you know, doesn't understand it. And I think that's probably where that is coming from. Okay. Well, cool, man. Maybe if uh, one of us sits down with him and maybe, you know, just not even um directly you don't have to say like oh the shelter we'll just yeah. sit down and give him some hiker etiquette mm -hmm. do like what what to do at a shelter or you know trail etiquette man. he seems like he very much wants to learn about yeah. everything around him okay and i think that you know maybe he just needs uh being presented in the right way i think he'd be very open i'm to gonna try i'm just gonna go up and mm -hmm. run into him by mistake i think <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> so yeah but all right. Well, cool, man. That's good, man. I'm glad we were able to actually touch base with uh, Joe, the Gooch, uh, Gooch Shelter uh, Scary Dude. So this is good, man. Let's see what happens for him from here. Uh, we, we also have a picture of him, so we're just going to kind of 
Uh, we're going to put it up. And everyone, if you guys see this guy, talk to him, give him a chance, see what's up, man. But don't put your guy down. Teach him some trail etiquette, man. Let's let's get him. Let's get him. Uh, let's get him uh, knowledgeable right. on on how That's to right. act in a shelter, man. You know what I mean? All right, sweet. All right. Is there anything else anyone would like to say? That's pretty good. Beautiful. Thank you, guys. Peace.